Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome back to the videos. Uh, I'm feeling a little better with my arm and let's make a test video where I start painting figures. Um, so I got here a new tire on Python, okay? This video will release too on YouTube, guys, you guys can see. And I got here lots of new things uh, on this. Um, <clears throat> so I put a new tire on Patreon. Uh, it's uh, 10 euros only. And every month I will paint a lot of figures uh, for gaming. Okay. So this I have here, I made this for a customer uh, here on the shop. He's using for uh, Warhammer games. And <clears throat> He wants me to print uh, an army for him. I print it, of course, and I use some samples for me for start painting uh, this kind of figures. They are really nice. They are uh, on the web for uh, the files for this. And of course, if you guys like, I can print it too uh, with my brand uh, and the factory. So. I'm going to start showing how I start uh, all the process for painting figures for this scale, of course. I got here the figures, I got here lots of bases, so the first thing I'm going to do is glue these on bases and <clears throat> I will show the process you must do if you are making uh, armies, okay? So, <clears throat> this one's it's goblins, I think it's goblins. Uh, the other army I do it's for, for dwarfs, and you can see here uh, this one. This is really, really, really nice. I got here another one, so it's different, but there are lots of difference. And I'm going to paint this, and I have this on store to sell too. So, uh, and the new service with the factory, we paint it uh, if you guys wanted to, okay, if you want to. Me to print uh, the figures and if you want me to paint the figures I will do this uh, and of course I tell you <coughs> on message or email you can send and ask how um, the budget for painting the figures but now let's start showing the process I do Okay, so I got here one, two, three, four, five, six figures. So I'm going to grab some six bases. Okay, this is a uh, two millimeters side by side for for gaming. So this is a really nice base for you to put and not to occupy too much space, and like this. And for gluing this, okay nothing better than super glue i'm using this one uh this is this is from uh call 21 uh ammo sell this but this is from my friends uh, uh kasu and it's from me i me i'm sorry <laughs> called 21 so i like a lot of these products and they are really nice to use and let me try oops open this okay I got this open, let's put this, and of course for these things I love to use where I have the activator. So this is the activator for Call 21, when I'm using uh, AK products I use this one, it's it's similar, uh, this is the flash one, and the glue of AK2, I got here too, so they are very similar, so if you use one or another it's the same thing. So. <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is see the um, the fits are nice to glue, okay? So we do a dry fit before, okay? And just put some glue here on the fit. You don't need too much, okay? Grab the activator here and just go there. Put the base wherever you want okay i'm going to use later uh, i'm going to make the bases and that i'm going to show you why and with the activator 
and just wait a little seconds and it's ready to go. So I'm going to do this in all of these ones. So glue. I like to paint this on the basis. So I can rest that there. Let's see, the woods are nice. So they type, uh, sometimes they talk about uh, the best glue for resin. Okay, the best glue for resin, it's this one, this Senio Lacrylate, I'm sorry. <laughs> Today I'm very clumsy. Uh, so the super glue, it's the best. You can do like this, the slow, the gel, okay. They are really nice for resin. And that's it's what I like to use. And you can see I'm putting a lot of this. First, or glue. And the last one. Okay. And I will show you why I am making, oops, this one. like this so now I can close the super glue <coughs> one thing don't uh, push too much the laser so when you feel it's closing just go there don't make too much force because next time you are going to open it's going to be a pain in the ass so now I'm going to spray all And it's done. And the can of this, it have 200 milliliters. This one, uh, let me see how much you have. This this is one uh, 15 millimeters, but this it, it lasts forever. Okay, I have this one about two years, and I'm using a lot on the figures, and it's go nuts. It's really nice and it's go everywhere so we got here so normally you have something like this it's a reaction it's uh, the white you see on the foot but it's normal okay and when i'm going to make the base so they are no problem okay the process uh, first we are going to choose the color of the skin okay this Goblins I will paint with green all the the flesh it's going to be green and of course it's going to be the first color I'm going to use uh, the wet palettes okay it's for me it's the most important part of this it's the wet palette so I will show you how I prepare it it's, it's completely dry you can hear it's completely dry and I will show you how to use it but the first thing I'm going to do is put the primer. The primer is very important because you want the paint to stick. I'm going to use AK paints, uh, of course. Uh, on the next video, you are going to be seeing using the AK, the Vallejo, uh, Emo, Citadel. I love Citadel. So you are going to see me painting a lot of different paints and lots of things okay because there are so many things on the market and they are really nice and uh, of course I am showing uh, demos for uh, AK but on my professional work some people wants me to paint the figures the, 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 the busts with uh, different uh, brands, okay. Sometimes they give me the paints and they tell me I want this one painted by by Citadel with Citadel or AK, and so give me the paint. So we need to be prepared to paint with everything, okay. So first thing, we are going to use a big brush, okay. This is a number six from AK. It's synthetic, okay. Don't use a 
uh, Marta Kolinsky for, for this one. It's 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 not good. Okay. Um, so I got here water. This water it's dirty, but it's what I need because I'm going to use black primer for this. Okay. So I'm going to shake it really, really, really well. I'm going to use something like this that I use for my inks okay I love these tens I, I do for my inks and I'm going to grab another thing of this if you guys want to know where you can find it this is normally it's on supermarket it's uh, this caps it, it's from milk uh, cream milk for coffee or tea okay so I make this kind of jig and I use this for putting my stuff okay so primer so I put around 10 drops of primer and because I'm not using this for, with airbrush I'm going to have a more thick quantity on the primer so I'm going to put one two three four five drops only five drops of tap water okay so this is enough for this kind of works so I'm going to grab the biggest one for you guys to see the first one uh, my nasty hobby <laughs> so just the brush with the paint okay mix I'm not going to worry about the um, the base right now and you can see and for this we are just going to need one coat of the primer and you don't be go you don't need to go crazy on the primer you don't need to have more than one coat okay so this, this part is just for the paint to grab. So that is the importance, my friends, for the primer. So there are going to be some gaps without the primer. And I don't worry nothing we can go with another percent of the primer but I really don't advise that why uh, because you want the water to fill some of the gaps okay because on the gaps you are, you want a dark uh, a dark color to make the shadows and the primer if you are painting with black it's going to be the first shadow of your figures okay so just like this and you see how so quickly is to go on the figure with a primer and this primer I'm using from AK it's the three generation it's really good because it's a matte one and it goes everyone everywhere and it dry really really flat okay so with some areas if to put too much it's going auto level by himself So I really like this one and of course the primers are not all equals so there are primers good for another kind on modeling you see how much quickly it is The big problem with armies <laughs> it's when you are painting so much 
of the same figures okay it's a little tired because you want to paint quickly and you spend lots of time with the painting process I know I know and you can see I'm not worrying nothing about the base right now because I don't need it so I just want to go all over the figure and for me for the primer on, on these figures is the best thing it's it's doing by brush <coughs> okay because airbrush you cannot go everywhere believe it or not and it's the same with the spray can okay with the spray can you have that big problem too with the brush you go everywhere believe it or not you go everywhere So on my store uh, I have uh, figures for making uh, armies or to D&D, okay, and I'm going to start making one thing, it's uh, for the people who like the figures, it's that why I make, I put this tire of figures on my Patreon, okay. When I am start releasing uh, the figures on the, the website, I'm going to start putting the painting figures of that. So I'm going to try to paint all the figures that I release every month. So prepare for that. And that it's going on this tire from figures. And of course, what it's good about it, it's because you got the reference of the painting work. Normally we have the problem, for me it's not a problem, it's when painting uh, fantasy figures, okay, you can do almost every everything you want on the figure, paint the way you want, okay, you don't have that schematic colors, and you don't have that war because oh that that is not the right green okay that's not the right blue okay you don't have that problem you can paint the way you want okay but there are some the reference of course and with that I going to put on the videos the paints I'm going to use the colors I'm going to use and then you can go there and if you want you can buy it on my website okay another one and the last one you can see how much time about almost about 20 minutes for gluing and primer these six figures okay the next part it's going to be more difficult one more difficult more time to spend because it's you start painting okay and for me for painting figures for games okay I normally have three three stage for the figures okay normally uh, they try to paint almost everything really nice and you can see normally the first first one you spend lots of time because you are seeing the colors how to paint it uh, the best way and for me there's three levels not stage I'm sorry it's for what you are going to use okay if you are going to paint uh, you are going to you just want to go and 
play with them on the on a game so you just need to um, uh, you don't need to have a great painting work there okay and if it's going to be handled for lots of guys so don't worry too much if you are just going to use you and you want a, a best paint work so this that is for me the second level and we got the third level for me uh, this is that is very important uh, it's because you want normally if you have this kind of figures uh, I will show you just just me just grab and try to explain what I am telling okay got here so this is normal figures I'll just wait a little just putting around here so many things I got here on the back so this is a normal game figure for D and D, okay. Uh, I got here some. I start painting. You see, I'm just putting the basic colors and ready for game. Uh, you can see another example here. This is what I have for the main colors on this one, and of course, this is the the size. For D&D and this one too okay because sometimes we have a uh, biggest ones and you can see a <laughs> big difference okay a normal these ones you just want to give illusions okay okay you try to paint the best way but if you try to make the eyes perfect uh, the flesh it's very difficult on this scale and on this one this is what I call the level 3 okay because it's more big so the size it's more big and we want to have more details and for that this is a level 3 of painting and normally they have an even bigger okay on, on this kind of figure so let's put this away and on this ones you just the most important things it's to you to know how to make illusions it's it's very important you to know how to make illusions so I need to dry this So turning will go everywhere. That is enough for now. Now you can see painted with black the details. Really, really, really nice. This one with the banner, it's really awesome. You can see there are some parts are not painted totally, but they are primer, so the paint is going to be really really nice on this okay so the first thing we are going to do so this is uh, an army with uh, all the same race okay uh, this one's it's goblins so goblins normally they are in green okay now you can go normally let me try to show you uh, 
uh, we got here the dark one not this one the deep green and I got this normally the steps of the, the, the flesh it's going to be three colors okay but because I have the black and I want to give illusions okay the illusions uh, you think oh it's going to it's not going to be so nice no no the illusions start with the where I put it oh my god right here the black primer so this is the first illusion you are going to do it's the black primer and then we got here the three colors I choose normally three colors and I will have a dark one an intermediate and a light one okay but for this because I use the black and it's this uh, kind of size we are not going to use the most dark okay so this is the dark green I'm not going to use I'm going to use the deep green as the middle and the light green just for the highlights okay you are just going to need these ones okay the third color let me see where it is it's right there let me just grab it's going to be this one and this one it's a ink okay uh, for you guys don't know what is the ink of AK it's like you are using this shade okay you are you, I like a lot of this shade it's the green shade the Cohelia from Citadel and they are not the same of course okay they are different but if you are painting with AK I like to use this or you can mix this so it's up to you guys so but normally I'm going to use this one I put a layer very thin I will show you and then you are going to see if you like it if you don't like it you can go with a different color of course you must choose yourself okay so fantasy it's a good thing you can paint uh, with lots of different things so the schematic now when you are doing an army for the mixes normally you have the problem on the mixes the mixes it's for more for the big ones okay I got here one figure I start painting and this figure have lots of problems on the printing you can see in the mouth it's very bad here on here on the head on the leg okay you see these marks and what I what I do for me it's a fail but I am make some different uh, techniques and these ones I used to make <clears throat> lots of um, invent some, t some some techniques so this schematic of green it's completely different I have here five greens five five yeah five greens uh, I think one more I, I, I think about six greens and all these greens it's made by um, by airbrush okay but on this size you need it so for figures <laughs> smallest you just you want to use um, uh, illusions okay it's it's very important the illusions uh, and normally if you have a, a very bad um, figure some figures are not so we have no much so much nice details you have the problem uh, of pulling some details because you don't have the details so it's more difficult and when they are nice like this so it's more easier to make a nice things okay so I'm going to paint this one's uh, game level okay the, f the the first level it's number one for painting and have this on the store for you guys to see okay so I'm going to do the first thing I am doing on on the team of Blood Bowl okay I got here the team of Blood Bowl I'm doing I, I, there are more figures so the first I painted it was the green okay the flesh ones and this is what I'm going to do with these same figures I have here so let's put this away as you can see the steps then when I paint the green I stop painting the red and it's going to be 
uh, like this so that is the better way and arrange some um, thing to put the bottles and no or making photos photos are very uh, nice for to save the colors you use okay so now we got the figures there so we are going to start painting the green and we got here a wet palette this one it's from IKEA you can use from another brand okay and uh, for me which is what I have I like to use it this one uh, they are cheap uh, even the papers and the wipes are, are cheap this wipe I got a lot of time this travel uh, this last uh, last year all over Spain for the demos and it's going to be here around more six months I think <laughs> so the, the only thing I use new it's the paper okay now how I'm going to do this let me show you guys how I do this it's very simple it's not a complete uh, complicated thing so the first one I remove the wipe I use water uh, this one you can see it's from Spain my friend da Vinci said uh, Spain water it's better <laughs> for painting so he's just <laughs> just kidding with you my friend so I'm going to use this and of course I got the Portuguese one right here so I'm going to put here some water on the sponge you can see I got here the sponge so just put here you want the moisture and you can see I'm just going to do like this spread okay you want the sponge to have water okay And wet now we put the wipe and we make the same thing we spread the water on the wipe hey it is now it's wet I'm going to put a little more right there on the middle I grab the paper I make like this okay and then I flip the paper Just making like this and we are ready to start painting okay just like this so my friends Jose only Portuguese water <laughs> so we got this so it's very important to have something like this for putting the <clears throat> the the brushes okay because when we are painting I I got this one from Mac one it's from my friend it's give me one and it's really nice to have as you can see now I'm going to grab three brushes only so I use the number six for the primer I'm going to have this um, up long one uh, 52 it's a martical this is the top line it's very nice air I got my uh, this ones it's from Raphael Marta Kolinsky too the you can see from these dots this is the the nice really nice stuff we're using and I'm going to use a number one and uh, two zeros for this one so I'm going to use the two zeros for this and of course the first call it's going to be the green the deep green you can see here the numbers it's the first thing I'm going to put on my palette so don't forget to shake it really well I'm going to shake with my left arm because my right it's it's very bad I'm making some treatments and it's going really really nice <clears throat> okay 
so let's put here some of the color it's about three drops it's enough I like to use the water and I put in on the other side some drops here and one thing it's very important you guys to know when we are using a wet palette normally uh, you have that issues with uh, the problems with the uh, out uh, diluation or the ratio if you it's one paint for two for two water or one paint for three water okay remember when we are using here the wet palette to like just like this you are um, the diluation is about 75 percent okay it's about two um, two for uh, yeah 50 50 about 50 50 but a little more is 75 it's uh, like you are putting three drops of paint and one of water okay it's that why I got this blob of water because I put here and I pull down okay the paint and here I got a mix around 50 percent if you put one more drop you are pull a little more down okay just a little more water on the brush and now you got at 25 and you can see here the different color change okay darker middle and very light okay so but for this process I'm going to use the 75 here on the top and I'm going to start painting just the flesh okay here try to paint the just the flesh and here is where it went the coats okay sometimes you must put lots of coats to have a nice thing okay the object of this it's the um, a lighter tone of the green go all over all the recess and to have a nice definition on the color okay so now I'm going to paint with this 75 all the greens so don't worry about the bases and even all any other parts we are painting the cloth or the weapons so don't worry about that you just go and go with the green if you paint you have more careful of course you are going don't have too many tone variations because of the colors okay if you are painting uh, a brown that it's I'm going to paint there on the cloth it's a, it's a brown thing so if you don't have the green you don't going to have too much tone different tones on this So like I said, I'm not worrying too much about the rest, just want the green to go everywhere. And normally it, this is the best way to start painting the flesh. Because in some, I'm not using at this moment any lens, okay, I'm just using my glasses, normal glasses that I use for painting it's very important you train your eyes not to paint always with the lens, okay? because if you paint always with the lens you are going to have problems later because your eyes it's going to be more difficult when you don't need the lens okay so the first green it's there and you can see the middle green 
it's now a dark green because the layer it's a 75% with the paint and water and we got the black on the bottom and you have that illusion okay so let's grab another one and then when on the size of this video you are going to see the time we spend for the process so I'm going to do all this process on video for you guys to see and this one it's the first layer so you don't need to worry about the hundred percent of the coverage and of course if to if you put too much of the water on this it's going to spread all over and you don't want that okay let's go to the foot the foots So just put in paint. You see another one. Let's grab another goblin. So this one is it's, it's the fighters. The last one of the fighters, and then I use the other the boss the representing of the army so here we have some of the arm exposed So these videos from Painting Figures is going to be made by me and by my daughter, Alexandra. Some of you guys know him. Know him? Yeah. For his, his works. And that work is going to the paint works we are doing for customers. It's painted by me and my daughter too okay I think we are going to need a little more of the paint but for this figure it's enough and you can see now it's very bright but it's going to be more dark when it starts to dry. One of the things I like on the AK paints it's because they are matte. Almost everyone it's matte. So I like it. The inks it's going to be it's going to put you a satin 
uh, thing there. So let me just check a little more. Because we want more paint. And don't forget, this works, you need to have patience, okay? If you stry, uh, start to worry, it's not going to be nice. And uh, normally, if you put the paint directly, it's going to have that problem uh, of losing details, okay? So let's continue now with another one. So this is the drummer from the army. I like these figures. They are really nice. Really nice details. And the printer I use helps a lot because these ones are, paint, are printed in AK. So the quality. When we start using printers, resin printers, Normally it's 2K or even less, but these ones I'm using right now, it's the new AK and they are really fantastic. Even on the most uh, old files, The AK printers make lots of difference on your miniatures. Got here some exposed arm too. And maybe on the, the other ones I do, I forgot. Here or expose flesh, of course. You see, I'm using the brush, not dipping, but pulling, okay? Because this is a Marta Kolinsky and I don't want to make, to break the hairs of the brush. It's very important. And one other thing is to, how to use the brushes, okay? You've got more life on the brushes. When you are correct using the correcting things on the the brushes, okay. So this one it's the boss, okay, it's an angry man. <laughs> of course. You have metal, so it's going to be nice to paint. And I'm going to show how to use metallic paint and make the effects with metallic paints. Normally it's a big problem on some guys how to use the metallic ones.
you see I'm painting the inside of the arm because I have some flesh showing okay so that is very important so this is the very easy details you can uh, pay more attention and it's going to give you lots of definition on your figure So when I see the guys who scans for painting the primer, primer color on the figure, it's not good. Believe it or not, it's not good. Because it's going to change a lot the, the other colors you are going to put there. So, but that is the way I paint, that is the way I like to paint um, my experience. I got some years I'm not painting figures, so I start again because I love to paint figures. I spend a lot of hours painting my armies mostly for 40k and of course Dungeons and Dragons because I like to, to play to, it's a really nice game and it's good because you can be with friends and have a very evening or a night very good night I'm going to do this, explain and put the, the, the people painting to you on the new academy I'm doing with Ender Factory. So it's going to be on the next ones. We're going to try to paint game figures, busts. Uh, 90 millimeters figure so it's going to be a really nice experience and I want you guys to try before you buy it's a nice stuff sometimes you are thinking hmm I like to to paint airplanes and then when you are going to see you don't have it's that not you do want to do maybe sometimes you just go to for cooking <laughs> but nothing better than try and then if you like you start a good hobby because all hobbies are expensive and if you don't have the right guys uh, what to do, what to use what to the paints, the brushes, you are going to spend a lot of money and at the end you are going to see you spend money for nothing and that it's not we are going to want This is a hobby and so the most important thing is to have fun. Don't try to get Star Wars with another painter because the, normally we, the people say bad things from another painter because that painter it's better 
and that is life guys if you want to, to be a good painter you need to paint just simple as this you need to paint a lot make lots of mistakes and believe it some works are going to be uh, shit <laughs> Sometimes you are doing a fantastic job for the first time, but you just go right the thing I see uh, I see on the brain just a little more here and you are making shit. Okay? Remember when your brain says a little more, it's enough. <laughs> That is what my experience said. When you do the bases, we are going to correct the greens, but the greens you are going to see it's very easy. Of course, it's going to be on another different video. Uh, everything paint. So we got all the green painted. So let's just clean the brush. And put the rest here and you can see uh, first one I painted this one now you can see the different colors because this one it's dry and this one it's fresh so it's going to be like this so we got all this one painted with the green so I use the deep green and you can see here on the bottle and you can see here on the figure so very different green but it's normal okay so this is the first coat you can go with a second a third a four what you do, do you want okay but now I'm going to use again uh, but not this one I'm going to use now this one this zero and we are going to use now the light green okay so let's check really nice when I'm going to put on the palette you are going to see a very different color it's very important guys to shake it shake it okay now you can see the difference here on the palette so much more bright so much more clear and now we are going to the highlights okay for the highlights we are going to start the, the second illusion so the first illusion it was the black primer now it's the second illusion and for just the green for just the flesh tone and i'm going to use this and now we are going to make a 50 50 percent okay of this I'm going to grab water and pull paint on this okay believe it or not it's very 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 thin now grab a napkin put near your palette and let's grab this one and we are going to the highlights for the highlights it's going to be the nose, here some parts of the mouth, uh, here some parts of the hand too, the, the fingers of course, and some parts of the legs too. So we go here because this is a 50% so it's very, you have lots of water, you just go and touch here and you can see make that blob and now you go the areas you just want to be more highlighted just like this guys don't go in the part you don't want here see again the camera yes I am the camera Just this now in the end too. 
So the tops. You see it's starting to pop up. The legs, you can see on the legs we got here some some more tip. Some lines here. So this is for game level. For if you go to the second level, you are going to put more tones. You see, just pulling here on the foot. You don't worry too much. So what we are doing it's illusions and remember it's going to be more dark when this starts to dry. Here I forgot, I'm going to grab a little of this paint. On the arm. And see, I'm always pulling the brush, not to damage. Okay, the paint here is still fresh, I clean just a little the brush, I grab a little again of this and here on the top of the elbow just give that and now I just pull like this and we got an highlight so this is just the first one so let's grab another one So at this point I'm not using the lens, just my glasses. Because if I use the lens, I'm going to have, uh, I just want to go deeper on the details. and that is not good because you're going to put lots of paint in some areas you don't want later because you just want illusions okay and that it's what i'm trying to do with illusions Let's go to the feet. Of course, you can make have more work. But it's up to you. you can see I make some stripes because I want to give illusion of some texture of the skin just painting here the arm I forgot believe it or not you are going always to paint some areas 
now let's grab again a little of this paint and just on the elbow and it's good because they blend too so that is a different technique it's the wet technique Okay, let's go to another, and you can see this one it started drying, and we are getting definition. So let's go to another fighter. You see how so dead are is the color, and now let's put some life. See what I'm doing, it's testerizing. Too much. So let's you see just with water we are controlling with acrylics you need to work more quickly. You here to correct this one it's You see how much detail we have here. Now the fighters, let's go here to the boss. Okay, here you got the ears. It's going to be a nice highlight.
don't forget the napkin I'm painting like this because I'm used to to paint and I know what I'm squeezing here I know how to control the paint so when I use this I squeeze along making uh, the point and I know what I want on the paint I want on my brush here it's better to grab a little more water pull a little more paint and you see what I'm doing I'm I'm making like this circle emotion motions because I don't want to make bad things on my brush they are expensive okay if you buy lots of things glues figures it's going to be expensive and that is why I have lots of brushes and for some parts I use um, the synthetic ones you're on the top of the arm you just pull a little off that more bright color because it's a high spot and you see like here on the hands it's a highlight spot you can see it's not completely marked so I do some textures on this and just pulling like this you make the textures pulling out don't forget here the ears on the back and we got this one so just two more to go more water pull there and then you pull the paint you want okay start here the nose on the chin a little on the top of the mouth too and these figures are really nice I'm going to testerize a little more here because of the light you see I don't make a continuous line I just pull a little and that is very important to pull your textures okay just some lines like this and you make a really nice highlight on the tone normally on this stage you need to make a second passage with highlights for the areas you want to give more life
but you need this to dry <clears throat> okay and the last one Normal have more time for the bosses because that is uh, the bosses. The, the this one it's representing with the banner with the tribe. So normally that is the figures. Your opponent it's going to look more. So this is the ones you got to have more work on the fighters uh, of the army. Normally you don't have to worry too much it's not the center of the attention okay <clears throat> okay and you see it's so easy You just have to be patient. <laughs> Most important thing of this is patient. Okay, test the rise. little more just rise and let's pull so almost like a dry brush with time you are going to see this technique it's very easy so just the first time it's more difficult Okay, we got the greens. All done. So, let's clean the brush. So, I use this one and this one. I'm going to grab, if you have uh, a cleaner, pour your brushes. This is really nice. I use AK, you can use Vallejo or Amo, uh, but I like more AK and Amo because the, of the alcohol. So I just put here a little, about two, two or three drops, circle motion there, right there. You see how much paint I have. Okay. Now just go on the cup with the clean water and we got clean and ready for the next and you see the point it's there and it's nice. So this is a good way for um, using. And if you paint uh, about, uh, you just have time for painting one time of week. Uh, I sincerely say to you about 15, 15 days, okay, two weeks. Uh, use a kind of gel for putting on your or brushes for the point to get always uh, rigid and nice and then when you just put with a little water it's you have a nice point again so it's very important if you would just paint one or two times for a, for a week uh, about 15 days you just do the really nice clean and put the gel and it's your your brush is going to have a long life okay just now a little water 
now the, the spare is for me and now let's talk about so we are covering today the primer and the greens so the flesh tones okay so I got this one and I got this one okay now it's up to you you go for the first figures you painted and let me see let me try to explain I'm going to use first of course the luminous green why because it's a very bright green and we want to give more details on the flesh okay if you are going with like this a green shade it's going to be very 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 dark and we don't want that okay normally it's better to work um, with um, brighter colors and, and then we can go and dark uh, much better if you dark too much it's much very much difficult for to pop up again so for this I'm going to grab again so or you can do a mix of these two colors pull down and tip 20% uh, of color and 80% of water but if you have this kind of stuff it's nice because it's going to last forever guys I'm going just going to use one drop for these entire figures but if I have about 20 figures just one drop of this it's enough okay it's enough guys believe it or not it's enough so I'm going to grab again so let me put here this one and grab again one of my jigs for this going to grab another cup put right here and let's shake you don't need to shake too much this ones okay this is the nice thing of this and I'm just going to put one drop of this and as you can see it's a very bright one now the good trick on this one drop of this and for this part I'm going to put one two three four five drops of this okay so that is enough uh, I'm going to grab where I have so this is one of I use for my trips and you can see I have lots and lots of one of this paintbrushes I'm going now for this part I'm going to use synthetic guys so this is uh, the nice thing for this and you can see it's not a nice tip but this is a 2-0 from AK uh, a synthetic one and this one I'm going to mix really well and I'm going to apply these ones so let's go on the face and spread all over the figure one then let's go to another and because this is normally the the inks the washes normally they are satin and it's going to pull some brightness of course but then later you can cut the brightness with the matte varnish guys yeah it's so simple is that or you can use directly here on these inks a matte medium and it's going to work really
really nice. So this is like Portuguese knows when we are doing um, military vehicles and we, when we use oils okay for the camouflage normally we use the oils to make filters for the camouflage for unify the colors okay and what I am doing with this ink or wash I'm unifying the colors of course you can do that with paints too lots of painters do that but when you are doing armies like this it's good to make continuous have uh, paint, a standard work uh, colors and if you use the right stuff for this okay I know I use the two greens and I'm now using this ink and if I want to make more of these figures so I got the formula there so it's easy I do not need to make new tones of greens and normally you got the problem because it's going to change and on the arm you are going to see that all that different parts and it's not so good and this we got always the right formula <laughs> remember these inks are really 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 strong okay so it's advised to, to use and of course water guys tap water don't use thinner for this because you have always a big problem to remove the, the paint um, beneath okay so it's not good oh sorry the last one So I'm feeling nice with my arm, it's good because I want to start again painting my things I like to do too, my, my military vehicles, my busts and this last two months it's very difficult for me. So thanks a lot for the patience you have it's not easy because the doctor think it's from my arterias but then another one especially said it's not arteria it's the problem because you have stay I I, have, I I don't normally I do exercise but this last two years with my problems with the, the arterias I stop to make exercise and that it's today I don't have too much muscles and the muscles are the support for all your movements and that is a big problem from my right arm okay so now just give a little with the airbrush and the airbrush with the dryer And we got the game level one paintwork on the skin. Of course, we are going to put some kind of reddish violet on the lips. We're going to make the eyes. The eyes. It's going to be on another video, guys, and you are going to see all so easy. It's to do the eyes for this uh this scale it's really really easy and normally the guys think oh it's so difficult so difficult okay and you can see the highlights when i move 
we got different tones of course um, here on the foots I don't work too much because when I'm going to use the paste for the base we need to work again on the foots so I'm not going to put too much work there because I'm going to need to work later and in some areas you see here on the elbow we got here a highlight but here on the side we need a little more right there we are going this part on the end the highlights it's going to make the difference it's all in the end so the next step it's going to to paint on this it's going to be the cloth on this okay because if you see the belt some of the parts are uh, on the top and we paint this if you go a little then on the cloth you just go again and it's much easier to correct okay so guys I hope you like this video so this is the first one for the tire of the figures for games and we are going to have lots of different armies and lots of different things I have a <clears throat> I have uh, some armies I really like to do and I'm going to show you guys so I'm going to the fantasy uh, I all cover it all in fantasy for this and of course military too so guys if you have any questions just ask me of course here on Patreon on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram you know it so just for the last what I use the deep green the light green and the wash with the luminous green ink so this is the three colors we use and of course the black primer okay so guys thank you very much for watching and i catch you up on the next one bye guys